Welcome to Flyers coverage of Aero 2025, supported by Cirrus and Continental Aerospace. Okay, let's take a look before the show opens tomorrow. So many questions. It's the new Kawasaki Aero engines. Um, it's, it's a case of where's the gearbox gonna go? How's it gonna be packaged? Uh, we'll have to find out. Okay, so this is the Junkers A60. This particular version is a fixed gear, and I have to say, I think it's aesthetically challenged. Not the prettiest aircraft in the world, and I'm afraid the retractable gear, red-coloured version of it there with the kind of coupe canopy is not doing it either. So, sorry, Junkers, a bit of a <coughs> from me. But we'll find out more. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder and all that. Okay, we know uh, black shape for their nose wheel aeroplanes, but look what we found. It's the Pl Prime Explorer, and it's a tail wheel. Aero has its wacky side, and there's this cool electric 120 kilogram uh, flying wing ultralight. We'll have to find out more about this. That is an aeroplane with attitude. Chunky tail wheel with suspension, big meaningful tundra tyres. It's got VGs on the wing that you can't see from here. It looks amazing. It looks, in that colour scheme, it looks a bit like a side-by-side -side trail, but it's the Enduro. The only thing wrong with it is someone's decided to put a ridiculous propeller on. We saw it last year and it's back and looking even more complete than ever. It's the Aviosma Funfly and it looks amazing and bonkers. Just bonkers. Did I say bonkers? Okay, mystery aeroplane uh, under the cover on the TL stand. Uh, we can tell that it's high wing uh, and we know that TL have got the Sirius. Maybe it's something evolved from that. Yeah. I guess we'll find out Agreed. tomorrow.